Listen, y'all, I really need y'all to share this video. Okay, so y'all know I told y'all they've been coming after me trying to fire me on my job, right? You know how I tell y'all about these demons and what they be doing to me at my job, right? So today I mysteriously get called up to the office. Makara, can you come up to the office? Makara, I'm like, what the fuck? I go up, with, I go up there, all the managers there. They give me a write-up. They said it's going in my file. Let me read this shit to you. On Wednesday, May 8th, 2024, Makara out of stock three separate items that were not out of stock. In fact, one item was on the shelf where it was supposed to be. One item was in a three-tier basket in promotion. No, it wasn't. And one item was in plain sight in dairy in the cooler on the shelf. No, it wasn't. Makara knows she needs to use the radio and ask for these items that she can't find. And further occurrence will result in another CAR with one day suspension and 60 day probation. Now it says on 215, she signed an SIR regarding this matter. Corrective action in 30 days, probation ending in 6724. I signed a paper, but we all signed a paper. It was a group paper. But let me tell y'all what happened. I went and asked the lead for these items. He said he couldn't find them and we didn't have it. He could. He said he didn't know what happened or something about they stopped sending them and he ain't seen them or whatever. Me and him dancing. This is also my reference steward or supposed to be a so-called associate because he, he never was a friend. He said they didn't have it. This was Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, he goes out of town to a rock concert, so his his lead is there the next day. I call on the radio and ask, do they have the butter? He said, no, I marked it out of stock. She said she did hear me. The other manager, the second manager, she did hear me in there when I called and marked the butter out of stock. Okay, so if I, if I marked the butter out of stock because two people told me they didn't have it, why am I in the office getting rolled up about this? Right? Then there was garlic powder. Y'all, I looked at that spot. I didn't move. And then I went to try to find it at another area. It wasn't in the basket. It was black pepper. It was cinnamon. It was everything dark. There was nothing white in there. When I came back, I looked back on the shelf. There was no garlic powder there. There was onion salt or onion powder next to it. And the four things were empty. They said the other manager told them it was plain in sight. It was right there. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay. The third thing, I marked some gummy bears out of stock, right? They weren't on the shelf where they are supposed to be. So I, walk, I should have walked down to the promotional aisle where the other candy is, but it didn't split my mind. I just didn't. So... They were down there. I won't deny that. They probably, I, I didn't see them, but they probably, it's a good chance they probably were down there. And I did mark them out. But this other stuff I asked for, and y'all said y'all didn't have it. Okay. And then, on top of that, I was told by another new manager that I had to start closing these things out and I was stocking them because we got new tags and they don't know what time the customer's coming. You see what I'm saying? All of them in there are trying to, you know what I'm saying, shoot they shot it with only three of them. The other one didn't show up for the day. I guess the one that initiated the hit. But they, but they sent my Mexican manager to, to me, Mario Castro that works at Kroger's. They sent him to me. And he's he he's the one negotiating this this write up about me going out the door. Okay, so I tell him I say, well, you know what? I've already called the union. I'm two steps ahead of you. I called him last week about you following me around. He didn't he didn't say anything. He just looked stunned. I said, yeah, you know what's going on. I'm two steps ahead of you. But see, let me tell you about my manager, Mario Castro, that works on my job. And I called and reported this. He came to our store before. He left. He came back to our store again. Well, the second time he came to our, to our store again, 
I was in the aisle working. This is a co-manager, by the way. I was in the aisle, aisle working, grabbing up from me something. Next thing I know, I felt the penis press up against me and slide to the left. I didn't say nothing. I didn't make a move. I didn't want to rock the boat because there was too many of them already shooting at me. I didn't say a thing. Y'all know on here, y'all been following me this whole time. I don't be saying a thing when somebody do something to me. I, for me to have an outburst and have to do something about it, it really has to be serious. You see what I'm saying? I didn't say anything. I didn't even bring it up. I just looked at it from a street point of view. You know what I'm saying? Like, he shot his shot. I declined it. We done with that. That's all I thought it was. Ever since then, Mario Castro been peeping around. Mario Castro been following me to make sure I ain't stealing. So I ain't stealing. I might be five minutes late to work every day. But uh, can't get me on that. So now I'm in the office. Because I could be getting fired and I could be losing my job. But let me tell you one goddamn thing. If I get fired today, if I lose my home today, if I lose my cars today, I don't give a fuck. I'm on YouTube every day. This story ain't just got started. These motherfuckers been gunning for me. Y'all know this. They been gunning for me. It ain't about nothing. Y'all got cameras. People in there that work there eating. Y'all ain't even addressed them, but y'all come address me. I done reported y'all sexual harassing me, but I'm up here getting rolled up about some canned goods. We can't make a deal out of this because I marked something out of stock. Like, this ain't sitting too well with me. This this ain't gelling too well with me. But uh, if I was that woman that he's married to... I get rid of his ass because he pressed up against my dick. Uh, up, uh, I'm sorry, I got one of those two in a different. Never mind. He pressed his dick up against my ass and slid off on me. And when I kept my head straight doing what I was doing, he went on. I never looked his way, but all of a sudden he wanted a head rangers in behind me. You, 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 you pull over. If I was that woman, I would leave him. Yep. Can y'all please share this? Because they trying. I don't know how long. I'm, they trying. They working on trying to get me fired. But let me tell you. Let me show you something. It got they initials. They initials. All they was all on it. They initials over here. No, this this where I supposed to sign. What they say. Refuse to sign. I ain't signing shit. Y'all see all kind of stuff going on. All kind of stuff that happened to me up in there. People bumping me and pushing me. People telling me I'm going to get killed out in the parking lot. I done reported all this goddamn Friday the 13th Jason Reddy shit. And ain't nothing happened to nobody. But I'm about to get walked out the door because I missed three items that I really didn't miss. I'll take a little blame on the gummy bears because I could have walked down there and seen what was going on. It just didn't slip my mind to. But these people are doing all kind of shit to me and I'm going to be the one getting fired, losing my home, losing my car, getting lose All this shit they've been in there doing to me. Snatching carts out my hand, trying to give my shifts to other people. All, all because I wouldn't let them come to my house, the other manager. I wouldn't let him come to my house, y'all. I wouldn't let him take me out on a date. I wouldn't let him meet me at this game and place and all this shit. I wouldn't let him come over. I wouldn't answer his phone calls. And when that happened, he turned into a nightmare. Both of these gentlemen are still working up in there. Y'all, if anything happened to me and I get put in my house today, I don't feel fuck shit for a goddamn thing. Y'all share this video.